Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special mixed bag of wrestling. I don't usually do two in a row within a week, but after what I heard that happened yesterday, it had to be stated. The passing of William Motley, a.k.a. Paul Bearer. I was shocked to hear that Paul Bearer at the age of 58 is dead. Dude, I was shocked. I've said it before and I always say that I stopped watching wrestling between 1990 to 1991. Somewhere between 90, like the fall of 1990 or the fall of 1991. It's kind of hard to remember when I stopped watching wrestling because at that time things were getting very hectic for me. I was going to school. I had some problems with family and I really don't remember what year I stopped watching wrestling. I do remember seeing Survivor Series when The Undertaker was introduced by Brother Love. But by 1991, when William Motley, Paul Bearer took over, he ran with him. He really made The Undertaker. Without Paul Bearer, I don't think The Undertaker would have had so much traction as he has now. Really. I mean, Brother Love did a good job with him. He did. But let's be honest. Paul Bearer really made The Undertaker. Then he made Kane. And to a point, he also worked with Mick Foley. And throughout the years, periodically, we saw... It, it, it's upsetting to know he's gone. This is one of the things I really can't stand about the wrestling business. That people get burnt out so quickly. And die so quickly. It's shocking. Umaga's gone. We lost Yokozuna. We've lost so many people that shouldn't have never died. You can say a lot about Test. And yeah, he had his... Uh, let's just say that with Test, he wasn't a bad guy. He wasn't a bad talent. And I'd rather see him alive today than see him gone. Macho Man Randy Savage directly. Oh, my heart broke when I found out Macho Man died. I heard it on talk radio with Curtis Lewa. I was listening to it. And I found out that he died through there. Then I found out on 1010 Wins being, being done on New York. Briefly about Macho Man. Nobody in, in really lengthy would talk about him. Unlike the Off the Rope show who did a good long segment about it. And talked about how upset they were. And the Slag Daddy did a, a very special video on him. But now knowing that Paul Bear is gone, it's like, it's like losing almost royalty in a sense. Because The Undertaker has made WrestleMania. Really. You can say a lot saying the streak it has been pretty important. The streak is a belt. I say it from my humble perspective that the streak the Undertaker holds is a belt in itself. When someone takes that streak from him, if he allows anyone to take it, that's like taking a world title. That's something that will never be forgotten. That person, whoever takes it, if it's John Cena, if it's CM Punk, if it's The Rock, if it's Triple H, if it's Brock Lesnar, if it's anyone who takes it, they will be forever remembered as long as wrestling is done for this company, the WWE, as the man who took the streak, but who helped make that streak happen? Who is the one that helped push The Undertaker the way he did? Who is the one who was by The Undertaker's side with the urn saying, oh yes, The Undertaker will rise again. Holding like a urn, sorry, this is something else entirely different, but holding that urn up in the air and then The Undertaker rising from the dead. When The Undertaker came back as Undertaker, the dead man, instead of The Undertaker, the badass, Paul Bear was by his side and he faced his brother Kane, who couldn't believe, saying, no, you're dead, you can't be alive. And he holds that urn and says, Oh, yes, we will succeed. The Undertaker will be the one who will win this. His streak will not end. Oh, yes. That is epic. That was the Undertaker.
his partner. And when that day came, when it was, I believe, I cannot believe I'm blanking out. It was, who was it? I don't think it was Ted DiBiase. Yes, it was Paul Heyman, I believe. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I can't remember when, but Paul Heyman was the one who went to The Undertaker and said, I know your weakness. It's Paul Bearer. And when The Undertaker buried Paul Bearer in, it looked like oatmeal, <laughs> in that container. And we thought Paul Bearer was almost dead, but it crushed his larynx, supposedly. That was epic to see that The Undertaker buried his best friend, who's been his, his mentor, his confidant for so many years. The Undertaker needed Paul Bearer periodically to reinvent himself. Not saying he couldn't reinvent himself by himself. He has done it by himself. Don't get it twisted. But what really helped springboard The Undertaker into such great stardom has been William Motley. And now he's gone. This is such an uh, upsetting day for me. Because I, I don't always look at what's going on in wrestling because I have other things I got to do. And watching a lot of the YWC really helps me to keep up to date what's going on. And it was some videos that I saw that was talking about Rest in Peace Ball Bear that I realized. And now he's gone. <sighs> I don't know if wrestling will ever be the same again, especially with The Undertaker. Particularly that he's going up against CM Punk now. We know he's going to be against CM Punk in WrestleMania 29. And even if the streak lasts past 29 into 30, and let's say WrestleMania 30 is the last WrestleMania for The Undertaker. Let's say it is. I don't believe it will be. But let's say for, really, for safety's sake, that WrestleMania 30 is the last time The Undertaker will have a match. Ever. He will retire. He will go into the Hall of Fame that day. Before. And there'll be no Paul Bearer to be there with him. It, it, it doesn't seem right. I mean, you can duck Brother Love. Bruce Pritchard. I understand that he's in TNA now. I understand that. But it won't be the same. If The Undertaker gets inducted, he has to have Paul Bear by his side. And it's terrible to know he won't be there. So this is my thoughts on Paul Bearer, William Motley. So I hope you like this big bag of wrestling. Subscribe and comment to Zane's view. I will be getting out my TNA Impact review when it comes out. This is being done on a Wednesday. If anybody really wants me to do other reviews like... um on Wednesday night main event. I don't usually look at it or Superstars or NXT. I really don't feel like it's necessary to see it because since it's done on on free television and on the internet, it doesn't have the same impact. Yes, it's important to see what's going on with many of the people that's being presented in the normal show, but since we don't see them barely at all, it, it actually upsets me. But I would like to know if you want me to at least do maybe once in a while a review on one of those shows. So leave me a comment below. And have a good night ladies and gentlemen. And take care.